somewhere moon pool adjacent, a mysterious cat has a passive-aggressive conversation with another mysterious cat. One mysterious cat has returned to the clans for their revenge. But back in the clans, Jayfeather is depressed because his girlfriend broke up with him 200 years ago. Briarlight finds some of Hollyleaf's weird old garbage in the back of the medicine den and asks him what it is. Shut up, Briarlight, nobody cares, says Jayfeather, shoving it all under his bed. But then Bumblestripe comes in and Jayfeather tells him that Dovewing is supposed to be stressed and to go away. Then he muses about how nobody tells him anything. He tries to do his job, but he's reminded by the narrative that he still needs to find some fourth prophesized cat with absolutely no clues. Could Jayfeather be the fourth? Oh, wait, no, he's already the third cat. Meanwhile, Ivy Pool's mommy has caught on that both of her daughters are weirdly exhausted. She tries to make them tell her what's up, but good luck with that. Ivy Pool won't even tell the cat she's spying on the Dark Forest for what's up in the Dark Forest that she's spying on. Dovewing, meanwhile, reveals to Ivy Pool that PTSD from her trip to the mountains is messing with her senses. She can't hear anything. Well, you know, except the things that people can usually hear. Ivy Pool takes off to help Jayfeather instead and finds all of his marigold picked and placed in a tree. What? says Ivy Pool. What? says Jayfeather. Anyway, why not bring some fox poop over here to protect it from rabbits, says Ivy Pool. Uh, great, you do that, responds Jayfeather. She tries to get Blossomfall to help her, but Blossomfall is avoiding her. So she gets her dad to help instead because these cats have parents now. Hey Ivy Pool, guess what? says Birchfall. I'm training in hell too. Why, Dad? I'm irresponsible. They go to the stream to wash the poop off their paws and Breezepelt and Heathertail fight about if or not they're going to fight them. I'm going to beat you up in your dreams for this, says Breezepelt. Heathertail doesn't hear this somehow. Meanwhile, Dovewing's mom tells her to date Bumblestripe. Your duty as a woman is to have babies, says Whitewing. Please stop talking, responds Dovewing. She switches to a hunting patrol, but immediately meets her ex-boyfriend on the border. You also do not talk to me, says Dovewing. My sister wants to kill Jayfeather, replies Tigerheart. Okay, whatever, bye. Meanwhile, Lion Blaze wants to date Cinderheart. He fights with a fake version of Cinderheart in his head about this instead of talking to her. Because nobody wants to do chores, Firestar apprentices Poppy Frost babies early instead. Molekit refuses, thinking rightfully and correctly that he's only being apprenticed to do work. So they bribe him with a single Tootsie Roll and he changes his mind. Dovewing tells Lion Blaze that her power isn't working still. Wait and see, says Lion Blaze. A week later, WindClan is getting really suspicious that some guy has been prancing around on their territory. A fox goes after Cherrypaw and Molepaw, thanks Ivy Pool, but a mysterious stranger chased it away. Jayfeather casually peeks into Molepaw's memories, but finds 400 useless Pokemon facts instead. In the Dark Forest, dead Ant Pelt is in charge. This makes Breeze Pelt hiss and call him names. Wow, it's so cool I'm part of this elite team, thinks Ivy Pool about the cat she's been spying on. At the gathering, One Star accuses ThunderClan of planning to invade, but Firestar completely destroys him. Tigerheart tells Dovewing the same Donpelt stuff a second time and she still doesn't care. Ivy Pool was going to go get between them, but she's interrupted by Hollow Flight flirting with her and fails. The next day, Lion Blaze is sent to look for the mysterious stranger. Greetings! shouts Sol two seconds later. Oh no, not you, come on! Sol explains that he got fired from the magician agency, so he's taking some time to find himself. You're always welcome in my house, says Firestar. Thank you for saving my babies says Poppy Frost. I've always been in love with you, says Barry Nose. Dovewing is very busy being suspicious of Soul when Bumblestripe appears. Perchance you would like to be alone in the woods with me, m'lady? says Bumblestripe. Dovewing says she's busy and the Bumblestripe leaves crying. Hold on, you don't have any boundaries if a boy likes you, Cinderheart reminds her. Oh yeah, says Dovewing, leaving to find Bumblestripe immediately. Dovewing tries to continue her conversation about Soul with him, but he's not here to make conversation. Luckily, Extreme Sports with Bumblestripe makes her realize that her powers are coming back. He takes her to a tiny glade in the woods and plagiarizes the Lion King franchise. On this beautiful night, Dovewing considers settling for Bumblestripe. The next day, Dovewing is feeling better. Hmm, must be because of Bumblestripe, thinks Cinderheart, while Dovewing uses her powers to look at Tigerheart. Yellowfang visits Jayfeather and tells him that we don't need Cinderheart anymore and that he should overwrite her file with Cinderpelt to get another medicine cat. What? No. Ah, well okay, responds Jayfeather. For some reason, every character agrees that Leafpool being punished is more important than the survival of ThunderClan. 
Jayfeather and Lion Blaze are very upset that the stranger was Soul and not the cat they thought it was. Gee guys, I wonder if you saw that cat get buried in rocks or something. Leaf Pool tells Jayfeather that Spotted Leaf showed up in her dream and told her the opposite of what Yellowfang told him. Oh yeah, this is Arc 4 and Yellowfang told me to do something, thinks Jayfeather changing his mind. Ivy Pool tracks down Tigerheart in Hell and overhears Mapleshade telling him about how the Dark Forest is very evil and they're going to kill his friends and clanmates. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, makes sense, says Tigerheart. She tries to ask Tigerheart about Dawn Pelt, but instead just antagonizes him a bunch. While she's at it, she asks Hawkfrost if Soul is evil. Um, obviously, says Hawkfrost. Soul pretends to visit Shadow Clan, even though it's only been a year since he ruined their everything. Then One Star shows up to tell them to get rid of Soul. Could One Star be the fourth cat? He seems to have soul detection powers. They refuse, even though Soul isn't even there anymore. The two patrols get ready to fight, so Graystripe tries to appeal to One Star's better nature by going, Remember when you were a little baby One Whisker? Remember that? Remember when you were just a little guy? And apparently this stops the conflict. Soul comes back regardless. Don't worry, says nearly everyone under two years old. We'll protect you from Wind Clan. Duffling is woken up in the middle of the night by horrible screaming. Sorreltail is giving birth 20 miles from camp. Brackenfur tells her not to frighten him like that, like she's a child, while she's in miserable pain and giving birth. She has two babies and everyone stays up all night carrying them home. Dovewing immediately has a nightmare about them being taken away by a hawk. Bumblestripe sneaks up on her to shout about how she's cool and awesome, and she appreciates it. She goes hunting, but is disturbed by Soul telling the young people that they need to kill WindClan. Um, we should ask Firestar, says Rosepetal. Firestar will be proud of us if we beat up another clan randomly and win, says Blossomfall. Yeehaw, says Hazeltail. Yeehaw, says Mouse Whisker. Dovewing runs to get Ivy Pool, not the leader or deputy or anything, and they confront Blossomfall's war party. But they claim they were all just practicing for a Smash tournament. Ivy Pool thinks that Soul has been using the underground, so her and Dovewing make up in the middle of the night to follow him around. Are you tricking both clans into fighting each other? asks Owl Whisker. Yes, says Soul. Oh, you silly goose. Dovewing and Ivy Pool are about to be caught when they're rescued by Hollyleaf. Wait, you're dead. Just for this book, I am not dead. Oh, okay. Hollyleaf has been eavesdropping on Soul's evil plans for weeks. Why didn't you tell anyone? I'm shy, lol. Bye. But before she can leave, Lionblaze pops out of the soil and drags her back to Thunderclam. Leafpool forgives the daughter who tried to kill her immediately. Jayfeather does not. Then Dovewing and Ivy Pool actually tell Firestar about Soul. Jayfeather tells Hollyleaf that murder is fine, but not talking to him for a while is unforgivable. They tell Hollyleaf that Dovewing has the power to see really good. Oh, wow, so cool, lies Hollyleaf. Could Hollyleaf be the fourth cat? It seems she might have really not wanting to be here powers. Jayfeather goes to see the silly mountain puddle and tracks down Ashfur in heaven. Bluestar stops him. I want to know his Hollyleaf opinions now that I hate her, says Jayfeather. No, you don't, says Blue Star. Why is he up here anyways? It's not our place to judge him. Unless he was a she-cat, obviously. Obviously, agrees Jayfeather. Brampleclaw tries to make everyone do work, but the young people who love Soul hate Hollyleaf. Hollyleaf starts describing how she tracked down Ashfur and got an effortless headshot on him when Brambleclaw interrupts to say that Ashfur just had a little oopsie and fell into the river. What about his neck wound? asks the reader. What about it? responds the book. Everyone should get away with this forever, says Firestar. No repercussions for keeping this a secret whatsoever. Unless Leafpool knew about this somehow, in which case she in particular goes to jail for 700 years. Firestar has Dovewing spy on WindClan. They're having brunch. What? Why don't we do that? Later, Dovewing is role-playing not having superpowers with her new friend, Bumblestripe. That said, she tries to let Blossomfall have him for the rest of the training session, but Bumblestripe refuses. She tells him that he shouldn't neglect his sister for their friendship. I want to date, responds Bumblestripe, running away before she can answer. Maybe I could settle for Bumblestripe, says Dovewing, thinking about Tigerheart. Back in camp, Mousefur yells at Jayfeather. Could Mousefur be the fourth cat? She seems to have the power to know Jayfeather is annoying. Jayfeather decides to forgive Hollyleaf for the sake of progress. He gets hit over the head with the emotions of Lionblaze moping over not having 3,000 kittens with Cinderheart, and this convinces him for some reason to tell her that she's possessed by her dead aunt. 
So he takes Cinderheart back in time to watch Cinderpelt the movie. Seeing her own birth zaps thousands of illegally downloaded Medicine Cat memories into her body. This is pretty awful, says Cinderheart Pelt. You're welcome, says Jay Feather. Broken Star gathers everyone together for a hell meeting. Soon we will all do a thing. It will be very cool. Maple Shade is going to order pizza when it happens, but nobody can have more than two pieces each. Ivy Pool wants more information, so she demands a hell promotion. Okay, kill Ant Pelt, says Broken Star. Just murder him again, right here. Ivy Pool convinces herself that killing a ghost isn't actually murder and completely destroys him. Hmm, wonder if that was the wrong thing to do, actually. M morally speaking? Eh, probably not. This all actually manages to freak out Breeze Pelt, who is now determined to punish Ivy Pool. More than he was beforehand for the whole washing her feet thing. Meanwhile, Lion Blaze is still having relationship drama. He loves Cinderheart, but they can't be together because she thinks he's too important for her. Suddenly, Cherry Paw and her uncle have gotten indigestion from eating poison on purpose. And the only one who can save them is... Mostly Leaf Pool, honestly. But Cinderheart snaps into action. Oh yeah, your girlfriend is half ghost now, responds Jay Feather. Lion Blaze experiences being unhappy with Jay Feather just to see what the fuss is all about. Lion Blaze tries to comfort Cinderheart Pelt, but she murders him instantly with implications that she loved Grandpa Firestar. Then he needs to be comforted by Squirrelflight instead. Later, Firestar calls a meeting, but then doesn't say anything for the first 20 minutes. For some reason, the entire clan just knows about Cinderheart Pelt now. Sorry guys, I had to take a call, says Firestar. Also, soul is evil. Yee-haw, says Mouse Whisker. Then Hollyleaf shows everyone which tunnels to plug for the ultimate game of Wind Clan Whack-A-Mole. Ooh, she's sassy. Haha, -ha, watch out, guys, says Barry Nose while Hollyleaf is trying to help. Hollyleaf leads them all into a hole to practice not getting lost in the eternal maze, but Thornclaw tries to phase back to the surface. Stop that. Okay. Hollyleaf watches everybody crash into walls for a while. Doing great, kids. Cinderheart tries to decide if or not she should go live in the medicine den. There isn't any room for you, says the concerned moms, implying that the medicine den only has two nests total. Might be a bigger problem for sick people than, um, Leafpool having babies, just saying. Regardless, Cinderheart Pelt decides to become a medicine cat again. Lion Blaze makes vague posts about this and the internet and then cries himself to sleep. Ivy Pool goes outside and meets Dawn Pelt, who is also going outside. She growls at them, but is stopped by Red Willow, who then turns to Ivy Pool, winks, and smirks. If you're in a half-clan relationship, you should be locked up and never allowed to see the sun again, says Hollyleaf. I'm not, says Ivy Pool. It will ruin your life and the lives of everyone around you. No one will ever feel joy again. Okay, but I'm not. And I would hate you personally. Hollyleaf is brought to the gathering and everybody vaguely gossips about her for their allotted 15 seconds of whispering and shouting time. Blackstar starts saying something, but Don Pelt has something more important to say. Jay Feather is evil, says Don Pelt, but everybody already knew that, so Don Pelt accuses Jay Feather of killing her brother publicly. I did not, says Jay Feather, and everyone agrees that if he really wanted to kill someone, he wouldn't have done it during a public game of ice football. But then Tigerheart, who warned Dovewing about Don Pelt twice, also stands up and announces that Jay Feather definitely killed his brother. This is extremely convincing because a man is saying it now, so Jay Feather is fired from his job. Jay Feather, however, simply refuses to be fired, and Star Clan hits everyone with lightning. Then Squirrelflight carries the baby home, and Briarlight tucks the baby into bed. He immediately wakes up in his dream to getting yelled at by Yellowfang for doing exactly what she told him to do. Actually, you were supposed to tell her she's White Storm, says Yellowfang. The name confused us, but uh, it's too late now. Yellowfang tells Jay Feather that Cinderheart needs to choose her own path. When he asks about choosing his own destiny, Yellowfang laughs at him and disappears in a cloud of smoke. He wakes up and Briarlight tells him he's the best in the whole world. Go away now, says Jay Feather. He takes Cinderheart Pelt into the forest and asks her what she wants out of life. Lion Blaze, says Cinderheart. Oh, you can have him. Yes! Dovewing sends his soul leading an attack on ThunderClan at 6 in the morning. So all the ThunderClan cats burrow into the tunnels with the worm skills Hollyleaf taught them. Cinderheart powers up with newfound Lion Blaze kissing powers and joins them in the fight as well. Could Cinderheart be the fourth cat? She seems to have, like, anything going on whatsoever. 
Dovewing absolutely destroyed several WindClan warriors before running into Breezepelt and Heathertail. How dare you be mean to my best friend, Soul? asks Breezepelt. Also, um, Jayfeather, says Heathertail. The Jayfeather stuff. Breezepelt attacks Dovewing, who jumps over him. Unfortunately, he attacks her a second time, and she doesn't jump. Breezepelt is about to kill her when Ivy Pool punches him through the wall. Everyone laughs at the Breezepelt shaped hole. Soul appears to try and make sure that WindClan doesn't retreat, but Hollyleaf beats him up. My origin story is that once I got banned just for posting an opinion. Now I get revenge on all warrior cats, says Soul. Uh, what was the opinion? asks Hollyleaf. This'll put- <laughs>